Wyatt, did you get my letter in the mail? Yes, Grandma, I received your letter. Okay, and you got the money in the card. I wanted to make sure because I never received a thank you. No, I actually disposed of the $500 in cash and merely relished in this sentimental poem on the card. Oh, you're making a joke. Very funny, Wyatt. Congratulations, you understand sarcasm. It appears that the Alzheimer's is not progressing as rapidly as I expected. Excuse me? Grandma, what is this creation? Oh, this? I'm baking some apple turnover. I'll give you some if you're nice to well, me. Well, I must give credit where credit's due. I do see that you're utilizing the apple peels, which does bring about a robust flavor. However, I'm a little perplexed why I don't see a single dehydrated lavender leaf in your arsenal. Oh, Very boy. curious how you're going to possibly make the lavender-infused simple syrup. Lavender? No, there's, there's no lavender in this recipe. You don't use lavender for an apple turnover recipe? No, not for the apple turnover. <laughs> I do use the lavender for this cake. Wow. I... Grandma, I knew you were a simple woman, but never would I have expected something so elementary. You know, compared to you, even Chef Gordon Ramsay appears innovative. I would have expected someone 85 years of age to actually acquire skill during their lifetime, but apparently not. You know why your nastiness to me makes me very sad, but I have peace of mind knowing that I'll never deal with this behavior with a great-grandchild. And why is that, Grandma? Enthrall me with your wisdom. Because no woman in her right mind would ever procreate with you.